Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures. And on today, the 5th of February 2023, we have another Sunday preview. Skirmish Games Reign Supreme. Sounds like a good start already. Lots of skirmish stuff incoming. While we get stuck into it, do make sure that you've uh, liked, subscribed, and indeed hit the bell for notifications. And let's just get into it. So get ready for a colossal week of releases for Kill Team and Warcry. An avalanche of warbands. Kill Teams and expansions arrive for your favorite skirmish games. Kill Team Soul Shackle. In the latest expansion for Kill Team, the ultimate agents of Imperial Law enter the Gallo Dark and clash with elite Drukhari Kabalites in a series of running battles. Soul Shackle introduces new terrain, rules for breaching walls and control consoles, as well as these two new Kill Teams. The Adeptus Arbites Exaction Squad are the last words in the Emperor's Justice. They will stop at nothing to bring the Lawbreakers of the Imperium to book, even boarding dangerous space hulks. With operatives like the Vigilant, the Subductor, the Subductor, the Subductor would be an entirely different one, the Chirrigant, and the Leashmaster, they're able to subdue even the hardiest of criminals, which is just as well as they're pitted against the hand of the Archon. This full Drakari kill team is comprised of the existing Cabalite kit and a packed new upgrade sprue, bringing with it a ton of fresh options to build specialists such as the Arc Sybarite, the Crimson Duelist, the Elixicant, and more. You can fight it out with the Shadow Operations and Critical Operations in the Kill Team Soul Shackle book, which also contains rules for the new terrain. Soul Shackle requires Kill Team Core. Soul Shackle requires a Kill Team Core book to play. Grab that and you're good to go. Okay, so this is the Adeptus Arbites squad and the Drakari Kill Team. I think this is going to be the box that I get. I haven't actually purchased Kill Team in quite a while. I think I got in on the very first box way back when, but uh, it's been a fair old while since I've purchased this. It's an excuse to get some new terrain, which is always good, and the Adeptus Arbites. Obviously, they're going to be available separately later on. And I've also never actually painted any Drakari before. So this will give me an opportunity to get to sort of give them a go, really. See how they are to paint and indeed see how they are to play. This scenery will be able to be mixed in with previous boarding action scenery. So that is also a good thing. I have, don't have any of that scenery, but it'll give me an excuse to potentially get some. Let's have a look. What else we got? Kill Team Kazakin, or Kaskin, as I've always been calling it. The Kazakin are highly trained Astro Militarum members deployed on critical covert operations around the galaxy. This box is packed with options to create a team full of specialists for games of kill team or a cohesive squad of elite warriors for use in warhammer 40,000. so i do have the old metal kazakin miniatures still strangely enough i know you're going to be very surprised but also strangely enough unpainted however it's good to get a new plastic kit i very much would like to get my hands on this in the future i don't think that time is right now especially with the release of soul shackle as well at the same time my wallet is already looking a bit sparse however i know this has been a long time coming a lot of people are going to be pretty psyched for this now they're available outside of the of the previous kill team box set on their own experienced crude mercenaries who hunt the deadliest prey for a living and delicious new genes the fast orca kin band is full of specialists like kill brokers long sights cold bloods and crude hounds they make a formidable kill team and can also join Tau Empire armies in Warhammer 40,000 where they can be armed as Kroot warriors with Kroot rifles. Tau aren't really my jam, which is fine, obviously. So I'm not too familiar with them. I know it's been a while since they've had an update, so I know it'll be good to get some skirmishers in there for 40k. I don't know how they play, but they look like they have some interesting weapons. They look like they'd be quite fun to paint as well. So this is um, another kit that I will not be getting, but also at the same time, if they're at the right price, as with most things, I'd consider getting it for future projects at least. Kill Team Imperial Navy Breachers. The Imperial Navy Breacher Team specialize in ship-to-ship -ship boarding actions, armed with gear to give them that edge in close quarters combat. There's a cat unit to scout ahead, and one of the guys even has a shield that looks like a door. <laughs> That's some real commitment to the vibe. Most troopers can be built with combat shotguns, and there are free rules to use this unit in games of Warhammer 40,000. Yeah, this is the from the box set with the crew. I didn't get in on this. Yeah, this is... I can't remember which Kill Team box set this came in. It was either with the Necrons or the Crutes. I believe it was with the Necrons. However, I don't have this kit either. I suspect that they could make interesting conversion material for sort of Necromunda and that sort of stuff. So one doesn't always have to use them within 40k itself or Kill Team. There's options in Necromunda potentially for some gang. Could be an interesting choice. And there is the cat. I've already got the cat in Space Hulk. I believe it's third edition. So I don't really, not in a huge rush to get this. Although they do look pretty neat, especially the one holding the door. <laughs> and I see we've got the Necrons below. Kill Team Hierotech Circle, led by an obsessive Cryptek and supported by a loyal 
a Prentec. The Hyrotec Circle is a band of Necrons who undertake inscrutable operations amongst the stars. This set contains several new miniatures, a Cryptek, and an upgrade sprue for the existing Death Marks kit. I don't have any Death Marks for my Necrons, so this potentially would be a good purchase at some point in the future. Obviously, that point, I'm not saying that point is now. I do have my own, I do have the majority of a 2000 point Necron army. I've got a bit of it more to paint. Might be a fun option. I do, I must say, I do like the paint job that they've gone with on this particular example. My personal Necrons are, well, I'm painting them as Nilek, or n however you pronounce that, Dynasty, but my own version of it. Killzone and Gallo Dark. Build your very own Gallo Dark board with 54 pieces of terrain. This Killzone may be reconfigured over and over to play all sorts of Kill Team missions. If you've already got a previous Kill Team box, you can add this to give your full size board for games of Warhammer 40,000 boarding action. So potentially, I could get this and the soul shackle and be good to go there's a decent amount of terrain here to paint up i've already got a few tutorials i'd like to do for walls and buildings etc so this could be a good material for me to do those demonstrations on so we've got shadow vaults down here add security panels weapon lockers a robot crawler and heavy bolters sentry turret to your kill team board in order to play the missions available in the kill team shadow vaults book yeah i didn't get the kill team shadow vaults or in into the dark i think it's called as it well it says on the screen below um, so I don't have any of this. It, it is a case of you've got to get it early and, and then that's it because they'll get sold out and won't be available again with Kill Team. So I'm definitely going to be getting the Soul Shackle. I suspect I'll probably have to go to eBay for to get this particular Shadow Vault's Killzone upgrade. I'm not going to purchase this quite yet due to financial fun times. I suspect it looks like it's going to be quite a busy week for releases. Kill Team Into the Dark. Prepare yourselves before entering the labyrinth depths of the Gallo Dark with Kill Team Into the Dark, a 120-page book that contains lore and rules for the Imperial Navy Breachers and Fast Orca Kinband. It also includes nine shadow operations themed around early expeditions into the Gallo Dark, a campaign to add extra narrative, and nine critical operations designed for balanced play. So another book available to read up full of lore and stuff like that and indeed rules and here's the book for shadow vaults push further into the claustrophobic confines of the space hulk with shadow vaults 120 page book that contains everything you need to find kazakin and hyrotech circle kill teams alongside law narrative missions nine critical operations and new rules for sentry turrets and infiltrations so that's another book to buy separately so this is what happens if you miss out on the books uh, on the original sort of kill team whatever box set they get split up later on you get access to them obviously at a higher price so if you are going to get in on them do make sure you get in on it early we've got kill team dice sets right here add some themed dice to your collection for your kill team of choice with sets coming from the arbite six action squad drukari hand of the archon navy breaches and fast orca kin band very nice if dice are your thing always a good thing finally Void War Bases. Get your miniatures ready for boarding actions with a set of 60 bases sculptors that look like the grated metal found in Void Ships and 54 decorative elements to add grills, gantries, and a bit of hardware. Okay, so I know this has been on the agenda for a while. I don't know if it's just going to be the same size bases. Hopefully, we're going to get a decent array of them. I do like these visually. We've I've been building some Necromunda miniatures, and the bases there have been very nice, but there have never been enough of them. This could be a good temptation of 60 of them. I'm just trying to think of an army of whatever would fit onto these size bases. It might be quite fun. We've got Warcry, Blood Hunt. Cornate cultists who worship a flesh hound fight a savage war against ascetic vampire monks in the depths of Gur with the new expansion for Warcry. I did do a previous video on the LVO release of this, uh, or release kind of teaser of this. I did say out of this box set, I do personally like the vampires. If they're available separately at some point, I will say yes to that, but... Um, for now, it won't be. Definitely should be a well-priced box set. I say well-priced in the scheme of GW box sets, at least. There's a little bit, there's a fair bit of scenery. Two warbands, rules and cards and all that kind of stuff. Ready to get you up and running with Warcry. If Warcry is your jam. The Asgurgan True Blades, a monastic soul blight vampires who preach restraint and self-denial. They've journeyed to the ruins of Talaxis deep in the heart of Nalwood in search of an ancient master. Here they are set upon by the claws of Karanak, frenzied cultists who act more like beasts than humans. So yes, we have already looked through these miniatures before. Hopefully I will have linked that video somewhere on the screen right now. But yeah, the uh, Cornate sort of people who run around on their all fours against these vampire monks yeah i really like the aesthetic of these vampires 
finally, I'm not really into the current sort of soul blight range of vampires. I don't quite know what's what I don't like about it. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I certainly like the look of these ones. And they're definitely tempting. Also, potentially, you know, a nice conversion for Chaos Cultists for 40k as well, or potentially Necromunda or something. So it's always good to keep an eye on these things. And obviously the Cornate Warband there as well, perfect for Chaos Cultists in 40k. Blood Hunt contains new terrain in the form of fortified platforms and fortifications for Narlikes, along with existing rope bridges and obstacles. You get 64 page Predator and Prey Warband Tome with which contains rules for both warbands, quests, and two separate campaign arcs. I already see we've got some Seraphon here. A full army of new Seraphon that are even now hatching from spawning pools. But there's a sneaky vanguard of chameleon skinks arriving next week. Nearly impossible to pin down thanks to their camouflage. The hunters of Hoanchi harass foes with dark pipes and bolus, all the while supported by their loyal terror wings. They can be used as a Warcry warband or as an, a regular unit in games of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Yeah, as I was saying in the other video, Seraphon have always been an intriguing one to me. I certainly like how they look, like the bright colors and stuff people have painted them up as. I've already got free guild. I wouldn't mind painting a couple of characters for Seraphon at some point as a sort of palette cleanser kind of thing, but this is perfect for people who already have Seraphon or keen to sort of try it out. So that will be released this Saturday as well. The Jade Obelisk. Yep, that's literally a Jade Obelisk on someone's back. Under the thrall of the mysterious speaker in the stone, the jade obelisks seek to deface idols, monuments, and totems. Afflicted by a curse, it slowly turns their skin to stone, which is admittedly helpful in battle. They must sacrifice the hearts of their foes to the idol arc that accompanies them, or risk becoming statues themselves. Ooh. They can be used as a Warcry Warband or as slaves of darkness units in the Warhammer Age of Sigma. But this is kind of tempting, especially looking bottom left of this picture. We've got that person with a cut-out heart in their hand. Absolutely lovely stuff. Something to keep on the agenda, potentially. I will have a look at how many of these Warcry Warbands I can use in a Slaves to Darkness army. If there's a limit, then I'll have to pick and choose. But this could certainly be a fun thing to paint. At some point, I see some Horus Heresy titling here. Hey, the Skyhunter Squadron. With sophisticated repulsor plates and powerful jet engines, scimitar jet bikes are closer to loath flying aircraft than bikes. They're used for deep strikes and hit and runs by Skyhunter squadrons. A unique threat on the battlefields, the Horus Heresy. Even if I manage to talk myself out of Soul Shackle, I mean, that is, that is always a possibility. I won't be talking myself out of this purchase for my Imperial Fists. Definitely need some biker boys. I know these are were available over on Forge World and they've now been replaced by plastic. I'm just wondering what the next plastic thing apart from the Cerberus is going to be. Or maybe it'll be the motorboat dreadnought, the Derrideo. What do you reckon, folks? Do tell me in the comments below. We've got some Forge World. Also has some treats for Horus Heresy players with two new upgrade sets for two legions, all available in resin. Hailing from the volcanic world of Nocturne, the Salamanders have an affinity for fire and big lizards. These influences carry through to their armor with draconic elements and flame iconography. Okay, so these are marks six upgrades they will be sticking around for a while these are not looking like they are made to order certainly not tagged as mail made to order they're all the beaky ones as well but i looking at them i do like the style of some of them and we got some word bearer mark six upgrades as well right here word bearers did more than just dabble in the esoteric arts this legion fully immersed itself in exploring the darkest parts of the galaxy marking their arm with the inscrutable runes of cultures and even mimicking the demonic visages they saw in their secret studies so we got some shoulder pads and some new helmets. They also pointy beaky, beaky helmets and a devil sort of face is very interesting, that one. And a very angry looking person as well. What else have we got? White Dwarf magazine. Looks like we got carnies on the loose. Middle Earth strategy battle game made to order. Got some classic sculpts right here. Oh my God, there is a lot of made to order stuff coming out. Gandalf, Frodo, Sam, Gollum, uruk -hai, and lots more, lots more. So there's a whole a bunch of Middle Earth miniatures available made to order. Get your hands on them if you want them. I don't know how long they'll be out for. They'll go straight to sale on the 11th of January. It's usually for one or two weeks, so you have been warned. Tickets to US Open go on sale on Friday. This is one of the best competitive event series in the Warhammer calendar, and this year the Roadshow is visiting Kansas City, Tacoma, Tampa Bay in June, July and October. Culminates in Atlanta on the 16th to 18th of November, which will host both the grand narrative and the grand finale of the World Championships of Warhammer, in which the best players in the world will clash to crown the global champion. These events are great for hobbyists too, with a fully stocked Forge World workshop, painting seminars, events, activities, and the incredible Kill Team Live laser tag game. Wow, I've not played laser laser tag since, crikey, how old was I? Sort of uh, 13, 12 or 13? 
crazy. We've got some Warhammer Plus stuff. Okay, so out of this, out of all of these releases, I would say my primary thing I'm keen on is the Sky Hunter Squadron and then the Soul Shackle. There's a lot of skirmish stuff available coming up this Saturday for pre-order. I would say make sure you get Soul Shackle if you want it, that is early rather than just mull over it for a while because they tend to disappear and then disappear for good i don't know if that's the same for Warcry, however so it's going to be a busy it's going to be a busy saturday potentially lots of stuff coming out who's keen on what what are you interested in folks let me know in the comments below while you're down there do check make sure that you've hit the subscribe button and indeed the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i will leave a link to my website to potentially sign up to my newsletter where you can get sort of monthly roundup of all my blog posts over on my website that's basically all i gotta say folks thank you very much for hanging out i'll see you in the next video thank you and goodbye